Hello everyone and welcome to Fifth North. I'm Demir and today I'm going to tell you about a product that in my opinion is cooler than the invention of sliced bread and on top of that it is made by Peak Design therefore you know it's going to be high quality. What am I talking about? Let's find out. All right, so what am I talking about? Well, before I jump into the product, I do want to talk about smartphones, right? The invention of smartphones, a really glorious thing, um, obviously, right? We're all addicted to them. We all live with them every single day. And from a motorcycle rider's perspective, they're fantastic. You've got GPS allowing you to ride places that you've never been before. You don't have to worry about getting lost. You always know where you're going. You've got streaming music. And if you pair it with a comm, you can talk to your friends, you can record rides, all that kind of cool stuff. Now, with that being said, when you think about it from a riding perspective, where do you put your phone? Well, you've got a simple solution. You put it in your pants pocket. Well, not really. You sit down, it's uncomfortable. You don't like it. Two, put it in your chest pocket. Again, kind of bulky, kind of big, again, not comfortable. And most importantly, if you are GPSing, you can't see the screen, right? So what is the solution? Well, duh, this has been around forever. I'm not telling you anything new. This problem has been solved ages ago, right? We've built mounts, we put the phone on the bike, everything's perfect. Well, except not really. That initial batch of companies, that initial um, creation of the mount had one major problem. That problem was that the vibrations from the bike basically was destroying our smartphones, more specifically our smartphone cameras. See, the phones shook so much that over time, the lenses in the cameras would actually break, disconnect from the, you know, from the phone themselves, lose the ability to focus, or just stop working altogether. So that was a major, major problem. So all these companies who first tried out the mounts, they figured out this problem, they created uh, dampening anti-vibration systems, and all of a sudden, look at that. Vibrations are eliminated, our phones are just fine, and everything is perfect, right? There's no reason to innovate any further. We're all set. All right, so here's the issue. I've tried multiple companies who make multiple different styles of mounts, the cases that come with the mounts, and they all have the exact same problem. All the cases are big, bulky, and in most cases, outright ugly. Um, they have these giant notches on the back that they use to secure the phone to the mount. And I don't know about you, but you know, I didn't go out of my way to purchase a very expensive phone, phone, mind you. A lot of these smartphones are very expensive, you know, to get sleek and slim, the latest and greatest in tech, just to make it twice as heavy, twice as big, and no longer, you know, slim or sleek. So it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the phone that you purchase. This is why I love Peak Design. Peak Design, to me, is the kind of company that looks at a solution and says, yeah, this is good, but can we make it better? And if the answer to that question is yes, that's exactly what they do. Let me show you how. Let's start off with the bar mount. You can see it has the clamp portion here, and it does come with different size grommets to properly adapt to multiple size handlebars. Now it does have the ability to adjust its shape and rotation so you can get your phone exactly where you want it. But here's the part that is different. Look at this mount right here. It looks super slim and simple, and, and that's because it is, right? This mount utilizes magnets as well as these two clamps to hold your phone down tight without being bulky. Speaking of not bulky, let's check out the case that makes it all work. This is the Peak Design Everyday Case. It's offered for iPhones, Pixels, and Samsung devices. Peak Design also offers an adhesive-backed universal adapter that can make most phones and cases work with their mount system. But again, if you can get the Peak Design Everyday Case, I do highly recommend it. The case itself does have rubberized bumpers. It's wrapped in a really nice nylon canvas. It does come in two colors. One is in charcoal, which is the color I have here, and and then the other one is a sage version. Now, look at how normal this case looks though. If you look at it from the side, from the front, really aside from the small metal square, and, and the small metal square is only slightly recessed into the case, you really can't tell. It just looks like a normal case. Oh, and by the way, it is also MagSafe compatible on the iPhone version. So again, I just love how it looks. I love how it feels in my hands. Quite honestly, if we if we were to take out the whole motorcycle part out of this entire equation, I would still rock this case just based off how good it looks, feels, and then obviously protects my phone so you know again just a really good looking case so let me explain how the system works it's called slim link and that is exactly that right it's slim basically you have this part on the mount here there's magnets inside and the magnets simply guide your phone to the clips the clips will connect it'll click into place and that's pretty much it your phone is secure 
Now, the cool thing about the everyday case is that it's not just for motorcycles. There's actually an entire ecosystem around this case. You've got, you know, car vent mounts, car adhesive mounts, bicycle mounts, charging mounts, tripods, stands, charging stands, wall mounts, wallets, pretty much the works. You have a lot of options. Let's go ahead and take this to the garage and I'll show you how it installs on the bike. Again, it's super simple. First, you take the included rubber adapters and you got to test to see which one of these fits your handlebars correctly. The adapters do range for bars from seven eighths of an inch all the way up to inch and a quarter so you do have a right insert that'll fit you best so go ahead and test out the inserts find the right one put it in there and then um, go ahead and tighten the allen screw down by the way it does include a allen key in case you don't have one and once you've tightened it down in the right position i do recommend slightly tightening all the other allen screws not too tight where you can't adjust the mount anymore but tight enough to where it'll keep its shape that way you can put your phone on it and kind of figure out exactly how you want your phone to be once you've found out exactly where you want your phone then go ahead and tighten it all fully down and lock it in place now i do recommend reading the instructions carefully as each mount does have a recommended amount of torque for tightening down so just make sure you pay attention to that that way you get it exactly right Okay, so once it's installed, I do highly recommend moving your handlebars back and forth like this just to make sure you have full clearance with your phone and that your phone is not gonna hit anything while riding and potentially break or fly off your bike. And so that's it. Again, super simple install. And then again, to mount your phone, all you gotta do is let the magnets guide you. You'll hear that click in place. And then to remove it, you just have to push either of the two side buttons to release. And that's that. Now, another option though, and honestly, this is my favorite option if you do have the stem mount option, is the stem mount. So, as you can see, the phone mount portion is identical. The difference is the way the mount connects to your bike. I like the stem mount because it allows me to mount my phone perfectly in the center of my handlebars and it basically lines up with exactly the the screen that my bike normally has so it kind of has a really you know direct viewpoint for both screens at the same time and it makes my phone as out of the way as possible because it's right in that middle part of the handlebars that nothing else is really interacting with so again this install is super easy as well first of all it comes with two different size adapters but in my experience about 90 percent of the bikes that i've ridden all use a smaller one so start there and uh, what you do is you simply slide them out into the stem you make sure the mount is centered. Go ahead and line it up with your handlebars. To me, it's a lot easier to do this while sitting on the bike. That way your bike is straight, your handlebars are straight. Once you've got it lined up, you go ahead and tighten down the mount. Again, follow the directions on how much torque to apply. Once you've done that, the other two bolts tighten them slightly. Again, that way you can mount your phone, move it around and get your phone exactly where you want it to be. And then go ahead and tighten everything else down, lock it in place and you'll be good to go. Now, once again, go ahead and make sure that you turn your handlebars left and right, just to make sure that your phone has clearance, that nothing things in the way and that you're good to go you know just go ahead and take a simple look right look how clean this all looks right and the best part is everything is weatherproof you know it is machined and anodized aluminum construction so it's going to be strong it's going to last a long time and quite simply it just looks good i mean look how simple it is right you just line it up the magnets take over and click it goes right into place uh, you know I, I honestly i find this click like super satisfying i'm just going to go ahead and do it again right you just line it up click right into place um and then again to remove the phone to release it all you have to do is push one of the two buttons on either side and honestly the buttons are nice and large that it's even easy to do with riding gloves on okay so i've shown you guys the install how the setup looks how it works all that good stuff but the real question is how does it perform well i'm currently on a 2023 suzuki hayabusa and we're about to hop on the freeway and head down towards the pch for a short cruise and you guys can see exactly how the peak design moto mount and everyday case look and perform on the bike while riding all right, so here's what you need to know. I've put over 2,000 miles of testing into this review. I've mounted either the bar mount or the stem mount on a Triumph Rocket 3, a Triumph Street Triple 765 RS, a Suzuki Hayabusa, as seen here, a Suzuki GSX 1000 GT+, a Suzuki GSX 8S, and a Suzuki V-Strom 800 DE, and the Peak Design Everyday Case and bar and stem mounts performed flawlessly. My phone was always secure, protected from vibrations and always conveniently there for me to see. If you think about it, the bikes that I listed, um, some of them have wind protection, obviously the Busa and the GSX 1000 GT Plus, but all the other bikes are essentially naked, which means that my phone was mounted in a place where I was hit with a full wind blast and there was still no issues. In fact, um, when I spoke to some of the guys from Peak Design, I asked them, you know, how fast can you go? Um, and, and their answer was basically, you'll let go as the rider before the mount does. So it's good to know that your phone will always be safe.
So again, this peak design setup is absolutely fantastic, and it's fantastic while still giving me a slim and regular looking case. So that's it. The solution that I've been waiting for, Peak Design went out and solved the problem of the ugly, bulky, giant uh, motorcycle mount system and case by designing something truly beautiful. In my opinion, the best motorcycle mount and case combo out there right now. If you are looking for a nice way to mount your phone to your handlebars or to your stem onto your bike in a non-bulky, really clean and really effective way, I do highly recommend you check out the Slim Link system um, from Peak Design. Now, with that being said, I did drop links down below for both the stem mount and the bar mount. Um, so if you do want to check them out, you can go ahead and click right there for me. They are affiliate links. Um, they don't cost you anything extra, but obviously it does help out the channel. So I do appreciate you using those. Um, with that being said, though, that's it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button for me. Or if you think this case is super dope, hit the like button for me again. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button as it does help out my channel and it will let you know when the next videos are out. I do have some really cool stuff coming up. I'll give you a little sneak preview here. Um, I did actually get a chance to ride four new motorcycles this past weekend. I'll be doing a full review on all four of them and on top of that, a whole lot of gear reviews coming up. So again, if you're not already subscribed, hit the notification bell. That way you know when something new comes out. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.